Hi, this is Erling with Travel Trail Sale, and this is your State Park News for June 2023. It's the start of the camping season in many parts of the country, and if that's the case for you, we hope you have a fun and safe camping season this summer 2023. It looks like North Dakota might be getting its 14th state park. Governor Doug Burgum recently announced the Pembina Gorge State Park. This will be in the northeast corner of the state near Walhalla, North Dakota, just south of the Canadian border. The state legislature has approved $6 million to fund the creation of the park, and when it opens in about two years, it'll have a campground with 35 campsites and six year-round cabins. While you might think of North Dakota as flat and open farmland, this part of the state is actually really interesting. The Pembina Gorge has year-round activities like mountain biking and even snow skiing. North Dakota is a great state to visit. If you happen to get to Theodore Roosevelt National Park in the western part of the state, that's great. But this park might give you an excuse to get to the eastern part. In addition to this announcement about Pembina Gorge, North Dakota has also announced a variety of improvements to their state parks this summer. According to the Grand Forks Herald, there will be new camper cabins at Graham's Island and Turtle River State Parks, and the new South Campground Loop at Fort Stevenson State Park will be open the whole summer this year. There will also be expanded boat rentals, including pontoon boats, at several North Dakota state parks. Sounds like a great time to visit North Dakota. In similar news, Indiana State Parks are going to have a large number of upgrades this year. You can find a complete list on the Indiana DNR website, but we thought we'd share a few highlights with you. Those include at Chain of Lakes State Park, a new kayak dock and launch. You know we like kayaking, and these kayak launches make it much easier to get on the water. There's new trail signage at Clifty Falls State Park and a new campground playground at Dream Lake State Recreational Area. Two campgrounds got upgraded to 50 amp electricity, including 42 campsites at Hardy Lake State Park and 30 campsites at Versailles State Park. If you have a newer or a larger camper, that power upgrade sure will be appreciated. And finally, there's three new full hookup accessible campsites added to Mississippi Lake State Park. And I'm sure I didn't get that right, so somebody please tell me how to pronounce that state park. We haven't been to an Indiana State Park, and we'd love your guidance. Do you have a favorite? We need to add one to our list so we can make sure we get Indiana on our bucket list. Earlier this year, we mentioned that Fairfield Lake State Park in Texas was closing the land that the state park was on was owned by a power company and it was going to be sold to a private developer. Well, it looks like there might be an update on that one. According to KCEN, there was a public meeting on Thursday, May 25th, where the Texas Parks and Wildlife Commission unanimously voted to authorize their director to take any steps necessary to purchase the park and significantly more land with it. Well, the current park was 1,800 acres, and if this goes through, they might expand the park to 5,000 acres, which is actually a fairly large state park. So we'll continue to watch this story for updates. If you're a fan of disc golf or frisbee golf, you might like this next story. On June 3rd, a new 18-hole disc golf course will be added at Natural Bridge State Park in Virginia. Disc golf can be a lot of fun, and it's a great way to get outdoors. We haven't seen too many state parks that have disc golf courses, though we often find them in other parks or campgrounds. So this is a nice addition to Natural Bridge State Park. Have you got a favorite disc golf course? Let us know by leaving a comment. Big changes are coming to Florida State Park campground reservations. Starting on January 1st, 2024, Florida residents will receive an advantage in reserving a site. They'll be able to reserve 11 months in advance, 
where non-Florida residents will reserve 10 months in advance. These sites are in high demand and very competitive, so it can be a challenge to get a campground reservation in Florida, which is why they're trying to give an advantage to their residents. Now, Florida is not the only state to have implemented similar changes. Other states have added extra fees to out-of-state residents, as well as similar timing restrictions on reservations. So we'll see how this one plays out. Good luck in getting your Florida campground reservation. Every month, we like to highlight at least one fun thing happening in a state park somewhere. And this month, we're heading to Vermont. On Sunday, June 11th at 11.30 a.m., there'll be a ribbon-cutting ceremony for the reopening of the new Groton Nature Center. This newly restored nature center is in the Groton State Forest, which is bordered by seven state parks. So if you're camping at a state park in Vermont, this might be a fun place to go and check out. If you're heading there, we'd love to hear all about it. Well, that's our state park news roundup for June 2023. We hope you found it interesting and helpful. If there are state park activities happening in your area, we'd love to include them in our next update. Please let us know about them so we can make sure to get it on our radar. Thanks for stopping by, and we hope to see you again real soon.